groundbreaking collaboration, evolutionary advancements, influential leadership. EDUCAUSE is proud to recognize the achievements of three 2007 award winners. This year's EDUCAUSE Catalyst Award, sponsored by SunGuard Higher Education, honors a product that has helped transform the way users access information and transactions. A process that demonstrates the power of collaboration and a philosophy of design that has opened an application into a flexible, universal framework. UPortal, the flagship product of JSIG, is the most widely used portal in higher education. Its development is a story of vision, serendipity, and the matching of need with opportunity, as the push for integrated campus services in the 1990s met the growth of the web. The original driver for the project was the need for the Java SIG membership to have a common project, a common goal. We were all using Java, but we were using them in different ways. So this was a beacon project that was to steer us in the same direction. UPortal came from a brainstorming session at our first JSIG meeting in December of 1999, where we thought about this not as a product again, but how might we work together across institutions. The UPortal project was probably the first major collaboration of its type. It was ordinarily uh, not the case to find institutions of higher education that were willing to work together, allowing their staffs to come together, be managed by one central group, and provide something that would benefit not only them, but all institutions of higher education. So it was groundbreaking, and it really led to all of the many community source projects that are active today. Ira Fuchs of the Mellon Foundation has really got to get credit for lighting the fuse. The UPortal project was important because it was going to be built by and for higher education, but it was also incredibly important because it would result in intellectual property and IP which would be freely available. And that was not something that was necessarily the case with earlier projects. We went to him and said, we want money to develop software. And he said, here's the money to develop software, but here's the two rules. The software has to be available to the public. And don't come back to me and ask for more money. It has to be self-sustaining. So we've got the talent, we've got the inspiration, we have the vision, we know what the, the value of a portal could really be for our institutions. Let's get together and do that ourselves. We found that good people attracted good people. We started with a core of incredibly talented developers and institutions with their own successes. Yale, Princeton, Rutgers, University of British Columbia. And that crew attracted more developers, more universities, and commercial partners. UPortal is an unusual example of commercial success with community source. It involves a robust community of commercial providers who sell, license, support, and contribute code back to the community. First of all, we wanted to make certain that UPortal would be available to, for a long period of time. And in order to do that, we needed the commercial participation. Commercial partners included Sun Microsystems, Unicon, IBS, Instructional Media Magic, Banner Software, SCT, and SunGuard. And I think it's been a, a very effective collaboration on a number of fronts. The commercial interests have had the benefit of the innovation and the forward thinkingness of, of the community and of the interaction with the community. I think the community itself has benefited from commercial interests who really are tailored to market a solution. We come with experience. We realize where the strengths of the framework are. And we know where, by working with this new university, we can enhance the framework, allow them to contribute back to the community the result of our work. And uh, the community benefits, the client benefits, this collaboration has resulted in an effective aggregation point for content and applications of all types. Rich media, video, push format, workflow processes, simple notifications. UPortal, as a portal, is really optimized for higher education. It's built by higher education for higher education. 
The early challenges were getting the vision across to what did a portal actually mean to our end customers or actually the folks who would uh, provide content. That vision was very unclear. People really thought of it just as another web application versus very dynamic ability to display some information and then launch to a full-blown application. The fact that it's really a revolutionary kind of application that has the potential to transform the institution. I think of View Portal as the enterprise portal for a campus. The idea of putting portals under portals or federated portal models are the, really the way that we're going to be going in the future. But I still believe that UPortal kind of owns the enterprise view because it has the combination of access to other portal content and it's much more available for others to plug into. Today, there are 50 universities and uh, schools in France that run UPortal in production and 30 new institutions will run UPortal in September. We expect to have about 1 million users in December. Well, I guess that the interesting part about the open source model of the world is we only know who uses it when they tell us. It's freely available to download. It's been translated into Japanese and Swedish. It's been implemented in Europe and Asia. Yeah, UPortal is starting to see adoption outside of just higher education into uh, primary, edu primary schools and actually some private sector business interests as well in, in the framework. The people involved in developing UPortal take pride in the product, but pleasure in the strong community that has developed around it. The most exciting thing is just watching different folks use it, watching the stats, number of use. Right now we're consistently getting about 8,000 unique users a day. We're seeing the growth. From a human point of view, UPortal was the starting point of a very rich experience. In fact, French universities are so independent that they've never worked together around a common project. And that's the first time in France that so many universities use the same products. The greatest significance is that it validated the model. We had this vision that we could collaborate, that we could make something that was, where the sum was much greater than the parts. Well, at the university, I, I work with one or two other developers on our local uPortal installation. With uPortal as a whole, I work with 40 or 50 developers regularly, hundreds on a one-on-one -on -one basis as time goes by. And in the open source world as a whole, dealing with all the open source projects that we integrate with, it's thousands of contacts with developers with similar interests in one way or another. Um, U Portal is an unqualified success on several levels. The first is the product itself, which is successful and valuable. The second is that it stood as a model for lots of other open source efforts that followed. And the third is that it built a strong community that's very vibrant and will go on and enhance not only U Portal but other products as well. I think what made U Portal work was a combination of things. Obviously, it was a good idea. Uh, it, was a, it was the right idea at the right time, but it was led by some really great people. And Carl and Dave and Jonathan and others all deserve a tremendous amount of credit. But UPortal was also very special because it was the project that proved that open source and commercial are not necessarily antithetical, that you can have both that commercial firms can in fact benefit when open source is developed and made available. And UPortal proved that and now we see many other projects that are doing the same. The